soon enough. What's that? Is that my fatty? I bet it is. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, good lord. Well, I hate to jinx it, but I want to give you a little insight on what's going on. Last week, you guys watched me pop a trime and a couple largies right up on that hill. As I was going home, I like to drive home with my maps out to just kind of get a feel of what might be in the area. As I'm driving home, I noticed there was... One on the 1857 map right here on this beautiful little crown. But it was late and I was starving. So I just kept on going. I'm like, ah, maybe another time. Another time. That's Deer Bob coming right there. But uh, so I get pa I get down to the corner and there's another one on the 57 map. And I it looked like this was all the same farmer. So I'm like, whoa. All right, so I pull over, I look, and it is the same farmer, and it is two home sites. This one is gone by 1872. The one down there on the corner is gone by 1916. I couldn't pass up a twofer, so I stopped, and I got it. And the guy has never had anybody ask about detecting, and he remembers seeing brick when he would farm it years ago at the other one down on the corner. So, there's Jerry Bob! And... Yeah, just anywhere in there. And so we are getting ready to do it again. The field's been chisel plowed everywhere but the crown. <laughs> so we got lucky. But all right, we'll come back on the first cool find. All right, that's so cool. It was here. I just dug a piece of, I don't know, uh, banding, either copper or brass. The, the iron is here. And there's brick. Oh, where was that? Yeah, there's brick right there. The gentleman that owns the place has farmed it for 60 years. <laughs> We're on it. And never been approached. So, this is all untouched. I'm hoping for a good night. I had a nickel tone. I didn't, it was all bent up, mangled, and I had to open it up. Looks like a suspender clip. Part of one. That's cool. Now, what do you think that is? It started off as a high nickel tone. And then when I got some earth off from it, it started just like a fatty Indian. 69.71. That's got some details on it. Uh, let me clean that up. Hinge? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let me clean that up. I'll be right back. Okay, all you historians. What in the world is that? But look how, fa how much fancy it has on it. I told Jerry Bob like a mini vice or something, handheld mini vice, but it's not. It just reminded me of that. But I love all that fancy. That's cool. Well, I dug the musket ball for the evening. Pewter utensil piece. Look at all that fancy on it. That's cool. And definitely pewter. You think it's a real? Probably a half time. Awesome. We've been here two and a half hours. Relics, midtones, relics, midtones. He hollers, finally hollers at me. 
It's here. Small silver. No. <gasps> oh. Chair bomb. What did you do? <laughs> it is the real. So? I'm guessing, but it's the size. It's. I think it's. I don't know. I'm just gonna shut up. It might be seated dime, but we're on. We're old enough to be real. Get that thing, man! <laughs> I'm afraid to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Bob. It's got a weird size to it. What is that? Seated dime. Beautiful seated dime. Yes, good job. <laughs> Oh, dear Bob, you did it. Warren on the back. Yeah. Is it 58, 78? 76. 76. This didn't make the 72 map. But it's awful loud. Well, look what you found over there. Yeah, I know, I know, but still. Clean enough? Oh, she's clean enough. Oh. Wow. She is gorgeous. Yeah, she's got some wear, but she's... You could see her stuff really well on the front. One of those in three years? Oh, you got mint mark. Is it mint mark? C, C. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, it didn't ring up like silver. It rang up like, you know, 21. Silver That's, is usually high. That, well, it's small. Oh, oh she's true. pretty. Put her there, Jim Bob. Good job. <laughs> well, it wasn't a total waste in the No, spot. no. Maybe it's right in this area more. It might have been the front. Uh, it's that small. It's somebody, somebody still could have been through here. But that's okay. You got sat down from Carson City. That's my first Carson. Yeah, I don't think I've ever dug one from Carson. Good job, man. I just found Yeah. I just found something cool. Dear Bob coming all the way up to see this. And a coin. Next best thing though. I ran out of iron down there, so I decided to come up and help him. I seen there wasn't any tracks in the snow except for there. Swing over it. Oh, right there. Yeah. 1819. Yeah. I think she's gonna be purdy. Yep, the only thing she's missing is the tooth. Okay. Unless it was one of those ones that didn't have a tooth. Or, okay, it broke off at a thin section right there. Oh, you think I'm gasky. Okay. Perfect, though. That's cool. Yeah. Shall we end it on that one? You ready? Is this up to you, buddy? Let's go for 15 more. Okay. Well, it's the next day, and I'm going to try that chisel plow. Uh, I think the one that me and Jer Bob was up on last night had been hit, so. And I've been doing good with largies, and I want my largie. Hopefully they didn't hit this too, but it's very possible if somebody hit that one, they probably hit this one. We'll find out. I'm going to run the bigger coil, the stock coil, to be able to reach down in the deep gullies. So, all right, I'll come back if I find anything. I already see the brick up there, so it won't be hard find. Well, <clears throat> it's pretty loud and pretty busy, and it's hard walking, and it's chisel plowed, and I hate it. But, I talked myself into just scanning for hard hitting tones no matter what they are if they're hitting hard and they're shallow and they're easy to pinpoint dig them another one another watch winder key <laughs> that's awesome basically on the surface it wasn't but an inch down I'll take that Another hard hitting mid tone. Check that out. That is cool. I don't know what it went to. 
But I love that. Well, I had that screaming beautiful mid-tone that I'm searching for. 60, it was trime number, 60, low 60s. So I've been down here, it was so loud I was just gonna get my pin pointer. And I see that. What the heck could that be? 60. Oh, okay, just a regular Indian. Nice. Oh, it was because it was up on edge. It was giving me a real small signature. Beautiful, 1880. Awesome, I'll take that. Awesome. It looks like it's going to be a good one. I will uh, clean it up. That's pretty. Not a thing wrong with that. I thought I had the folded up toe tap. But that's not no toe tap. That's awesome. Look at all the fancy on that. What do you think that was? That's cool. Uh, so I had fifth, uh, no, no, uh, 60, upper 60s, lower 70s. It, it didn't squeak in the 70s. And I was just expecting it to be another mid-tone piece of thin stuff. That looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> is that my fatty? I bet it is. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, good Lord. Look at that. One wiper, 1858 Flying Eagle. <laughs> that is awesome. Totally awesome. One wiper. Boom. That's gorgeous. I just assumed it was, I just figured it was a uh, fatty Indian. You never know. Till you wipe it. Awesome. There it is. And it's a fine specimen. <laughs> the toe tap. Well, I haven't dug many buttons. This might only be the second one, but it's a cool one. All the dimples in it. No shank. Let me try to clean it up better. Cool. Well, I had decent numbers, but nothing I got excited about. It was like Indian head one way and dropping down to like a fatty or a high nickel the other way. And then I get it out. <laughs> Check it. I think I got silver. Oh, look at there. Beautiful Barber Dime. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I do have my squirter. Dear Bob got silver up on the corner. I got silver down here. Wow, look at that. That did not see much circulation at all. 1900. Booyah. No mint mark. Sweet. That sounds nice. Yeah. I like the way that sounds.
Oh, it's out. Oh, 83. I wonder what that is. I've been digging a lot of copper strapping. I don't know what it was for. But. Oh, I see it. <laughs> All right. 83? I wonder what that is. <laughs> That's not largey numbers. Good grief. Awesome. I got the largey. So sweet. Looks to be in decent shape. Eighteen forty five. I think it's forty five. Yeah, it's forty five. Awesome. Uh, this site is huge and it's loud brick and pottery and glass and everything you name it under the sun all over the place and it's chisel plowed I'm getting a few things I think I'll be able to come back to this many times when they get it leveled out should be good it's been a long time since I dug so many nice suspender clips that's got some stuff on it, fancy. I'm gonna clean that up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't tell what the scene is. Is that a bird to the left? And some tree branches or something? I don't know. Now that is the biggest piece of pewter spoon utensil I think I've ever dug. <laughs> Let me clean it up and see if there's any anything on it. I don't think so. I was thinking there might be words right there. But I don't know. I'll mess with it later. It looks like a bee. <laughs> I'll mess with it later. That's cool though. I don't find very many of them. Garter clip. Cool. Okay, I uh, moved up, moved back up to the first site me and Jerobob hit. You know, I dug a rivet. And there were some spots we didn't get to, and I got tired of the chisel plow. But anyway, check this out. What the heck? This is the Gone by 1872 site. It looks like part of a two piece button. It looks like Lady Liberty Largy on the front. <laughs> I know it's, yeah, it could be. And a button, f yeah, Liberty on the, that is so cool. I've never seen that before. Awesome. Dear Bob, we didn't drop our coil soon enough. I just had a 75 all the way around. It's like, oh, right there. What's that? <laughs> This will be interesting. Sure, see the green. It's Indian. What year do we got? 1897? That's his maps. And his uh, silver was 76. And this house was gone on the maps by 72 just makes me wonder yeah that's 1897 maybe they were farming it by then who knows cool okay let's put a wrap up to that video um it was three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. It's pretty windy. I'll try to stay behind the car. Three or four weeks ago, I ended this video's 
the last target right about dark we had a storm a huge snowstorm coming in and we got like a foot of snow blah 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 I was getting nervous for some reason I just I wanted to get out of there so I didn't do a wrap up well I'm gonna do the wrap up now I am at a new permission and before I start this I need to finish this now this was two spots me and Jared Bob started what I thought was gone by 1872 we found some stuff that mm, showed that might have hung on a little longer. Don't know. And then with that permission, I had another one that was chisel plowed. I went and hit that one. That one was gone by 1916. And this is the combination of everything that we found, except Jerry Bob took his uh, seated dime home. I've got close-up screenshots that I will post to give you guys a good look at that. But... Okay, where do I begin? Uh, here's the iron and the mid-tones. This is kind of my trash, and then this was some farm tack that I found, two great big, I believe those are bits. Not 100% sure what this is, a buckle, I, part of a saw, obviously. I don't know, maybe a dog leash clip. This was cool. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, it's separated, it's serrated, or it's, too, it's got a seam going down it. And then it's got this piece off the side there. I'm wondering if it's parasol related. Don't know. Um, I picked up that fancy little thing. It's really thin, I don't know what it is. Be part of a discussion of some sort. One, two, three, four suspender clips. Look at the ornate on them. Ain't that cool? Couple buckles. This is oldie. I'm gonna assume. Oh, is there words on it? Solid? I don't know. Those are words under the points? I believe there is. I'm not sure. I love those ones with the pokies. I think those are the older ones. Look at this. Look at all the fancy on that thingy. I think that's some sort of an discussion too. A couple toe taps, broken bottle, cork bottle. Cool. Brick, pottery, uh, shotgun head stamps, but croc. It's probably common, but not up here. Uh, I believe this croc was made out of brick material. Same people that were making the local brick dabbled in some crockery, maybe. That's a first for me. That's cool. I think that's part of a kind of Stoga Bell. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Maybe that's part of a rosette. I don't know. No. Oh, Brian. Yeah. The guy who played the fiddle, all the rats in England I don't know we talked online and there's a rat down there and he didn't even realize it so he was right but what that went to I don't know um I got some buttons oh the cool one fell over a couple buttons with some diagrams on them some later buttons oil lamp piece lots of harmonica reeds discussion drawer pull type thing some melted lead and copper, I believe. There's some uh, rivets. This big old spoon bowl. There's some pewter spoon utensil pieces. Part of a corset clip and a complete... Uh, oh, what's those the women wear? Corset and... Oh, I can't remember, but you guys have probably seen them before. I'll think of it in a second. And this is a first for me. This was a sewing bird. They clamped it to the table. This is the breast of a bird. I've only got the bottom part, the tail. And the bird's beak would hold the thread for the woman while she was doing her work. And sometimes on top of the part that I don't have was a pincushion. Look at all the ornate on it. It's cool. I think it's 1850s. We did some research on it. 
that night when I got home. Oh, I'm trying to think what that is. You got the corset clip and you've got the... I, I said it to myself a little while ago. A very cool key. Broken. Love it. A watch winder key. Love them. This is the year for watch winder keys. I'm telling you. That's like my third third one this year. Uh, 1897 Indian. 1880 Indian. 1858 or 6 Flying Eagle. One or the other. I did pull a largey. The chisel plow I've got ahead again. Um, I pulled that out of the chisel plow and I pulled the barber dime out of the chisel plow. 1900. Uh, I probably got three days into this video just going to hunt. And you can tell <laughs> how I'm going to go see if this one was even here. I got a permission last night. This is, I just found this when he owns this section too. I didn't know it. I got a blanket. He was cool. And so wrap this up and start another. All right, guys. Later. Wow. There it is. Awesome. Two set piece. Look. That's silver. Oh, you did it! <laughs>